As usual, when it comes to issues of science, we turn to Michael Novacek, the provost of science at the American Museum of Natural History here in New York. Michael, we just heard about this uh, drug-resistant strain of malaria that right. apparently has cropped up in Cambodia. Uh, how much of a threat is this? How worried should we be? Well, malaria is one of the world's great and terrible diseases. It infects Martin, um, you know, millions of people a year. Uh, it has high mortality rates. And so any time uh, the parasite that spreads malaria develops a resistance to a certain kind of drug, it's certainly a concern and something to focus on. I have read and I have heard as well that there is a concern that uh, deforestation and global warming may contribute greatly to the spread of this disease. I, I guess I can understand in warmer temperatures. I wasn't quite sure of the deforestation. Well, there are scientific papers that have made the correlation between both those factors and the spread of malaria. Uh, there are other scientific reports, and more recently, that question, especially the, uh, the straight-on correlation between global warming and the spread of malaria. What actually is the pattern is there are predictions based on science of where the disease will spread and where it will diminish, depending on those conditions. But why? degradation of environments. What, what's the factor there? Well, any time you get that, you very often also comes with more people, uh, degraded environments like stagnant water, polluted water, uh, a greater amount of uh, mosquitoes, greater so more population. people going into sort of the general Yeah, the turf. combination, the dangerous combination, lots of mosquitoes, lots of people, and the chance for uh, spreading the disease between people via mosquitoes. And what is science doing to try to combat this disease? And do you think that one day, one day, it could be eradicated? It is possible that even an a, a, a huge disease, a very infective, uh, problematic disease like this could be eradicated, but it would take an enormous amount of effort and money. In the meantime, there are efforts on all fronts to control the mosquito and as a vector, uh, also to develop new drugs that will knock out the parasite that it hasn't adapted to, hasn't evolved a resistance to. And there's also genomic research, including research being done at the American Museum of Natural History, to look at how that organism evolves and look for clues to, to, to trying to deal with the disease. To find an Achilles heel. To find that Achilles heel, yeah, in the organism. Michael Novacek, as always a pleasure. Thanks. It's great to be here again.